guys so I'm basically just getting here and if you guys can see let me see here hold on so there's the marshals right there you guys probably can't see it and right next to it there is a TJ Maxx and right next to it right over there is a Nordstrom rack so like I said it's Nordstrom rack Marshalls and TJ Maxx they're all literally right next to each other and as you guys know they're known to have like good makeup so let's do this So the first thing that caught my eye is this Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. And there's a sign there that says $24.97. Uh, they have this Naked Skin Powder and it's $17.97. Now look at this you guys. The electric palette. I paid full price for this. And this is... $23.97. Oh my god, you guys. Alright, so they also have like this huge NYX section, but some of the things I notice are probably going to be cheaper at Ulta. Um, so I guess it's best to know the prices before coming in. Alright, so now you guys were at TJ Maxx and they have like makeup sets. But I don't recognize any of these brands. Uh, Max Studio. Hmm. Yeah, I think um, Nordstrom Rack has like a little bit more high-end products. But let's keep looking. Alright guys, I found the higher-end products. Let me see. Cream Contour. $17.99. What are these? Just single shadows, $3.99. Let's see. Make it forever. $16.99. I mean they don't have a very wide selection, but they have some. Oh, these are cute. So they do have a lot of brushes here at Marshall's, but just like TJ Maxx, they don't have a lot of higher end products here. Hmm. Cool, too free. What brand is this? Duos. So, as you guys can see, this is like literally Brush City right here. Like a thousand brushes everywhere. And makeup bags also. All right, so this is the makeup they have. I don't see any higher end products here at Marshall's. When I'm looking. So I found Cargo, but this is technically like a drugstore brand. Um, just like TJ Maxx, they have a lot of sets here, but nothing high end. Look, guys, what I found Too Faced. Yay! This packaging is open, but it's in there. It was a pretty good find. You guys, I think I found something. I found some Glam Glow here. Um, some Stila. Broken. Some Kevin Aquan. Let's see what this is, actually. Ooh. It's like an eyeshadow duo. Cute. For $9. I don't know. It's pretty beautiful. Oh my god, you guys. Look what I just found. Shade and Light Palette. I paid full price for this shit. It's $24.99 here. Let's open it up and see if it's right, still So this it. is the older packaging. But... It is still alive. And for $24.99, I mean, come on. This is bomb. Also found some Stila. Um, you open it up and some of the shades are swatched and there is no box. And then th I think this is the medium. And then from there they have another one. This is the deep one. But again, um, 
you open it up and most of them are swatched so if like if like the hygiene is an issue for you then i wouldn't recommend all right so i just left all three stores Whew! my fat ass got quite a workout i walked a good distance you know for us fatties that don't like to walk yeah okay now here are my thoughts i think that nordstrom rack is probably the most organized and they have a pretty good selection of high-end products um, walking into TJ Maxx, I did not find anything high-end, nor anything that I liked. And everything was kind of like all over the place. Now, at Marshall's, everything is all over the place, and there isn't a wide selection of higher-end products. However, I did find some higher-end products, and it is worth it if you're willing to look. Alright, well, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just want to see what all the hype was about. Um, I see a lot of YouTube, blah, 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 a lot of YouTubers posting, you know, that they got very, very good products um, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and in my opinion, I'd much rather go to Sephora or Ulta and get something that I know is not going to be defective. It's still going to be in the box. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you're really up for the challenge and you want to go and you want to look, I mean, you can find some good things, but a lot of them could be broken, possibly not in the box. So, yeah, I mean, there you go. All right, well, that pretty much concludes this video. Um, as you guys can see, I'm using the filter on Snapchat. So, if you guys want to add me on Snapchat, you guys can find me at F I T L I Z Z Z Z. Don't judge me. 